Well, of course there is. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting food for thought. Um, as for planning, uh, in regards to that, uh, Manakai, uh, all right, I, I guess I'll just pencil this out, uh, just from like a, sort of a, a broad scope, rather than, uh, doing like individual character actions, because we spend so much time with that. What I would, uh, what I was thinking about was, uh, definitely having Ivy go into Faster Vault on our behalf, just to completely cover over the whole idea that we might be responsible for the sheriff's disappearance. And I'm sure you got that. With the whole idea of giving her the ring and me yeah, like yeah. Trying, yeah, trying to set up the thing. And I was kind of hoping, because I, I imagine maybe mention of like the sort of like the locked building they came across that was protected and guarded and all kinds of things. I was hoping that would be... <laughs> I keep going back to it, an armory, and that that key would open the armory, and that certain gems could be placed within the armory. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I I have thought of that as well. Yep. But the question is, then, have you talked her into actually doing something like that? Well... I mean, if she just goes there and it's like, oh, yes, if I can come back and live here, then I'll tell you about all the drow and their nefarious plans and give them, he gave me all these things and they're coming to attack very soon. Well, she, it's possible, you know, there's obviously some risk in the whole concept that she could be betraying me directly and uh, mm -hmm. thus have been a master manipulator. But on the flip side, I, I think, and this is something my character is going to work on, is trying to befriend her as best as possible, and I set that up with at least like a beginning whispering message to confirm what he knows or at least suspects about her personality and just try to work it in, whether that needs to be taken care of with several days of a PC and PC interaction or like diplomacy checks or whatever, or just uh, maybe with what I already gave thus far. You know, the hope is that, you know, she is so vulnerable and alone in this aspect, and she had, she had no one, and apparently she had been cast out by Faster Vault. They thought of her as a thief and murderer. To this end, this allows her the opportunity to get back at everyone who doubted her and mistreated her, while also if there's anyone she actually likes in Faster Vault, they don't necessarily have to die. She can give the finger to Lord Gierney. And given her capabilities, I would have to say from a game aspect, she would be a roguish type who might be capable of selling a bluff. Not to me, of course, because I'm awesome, but certainly to a stupid noble lord. And, you know, with this whole story about uh, having found this waylaid caravan and all sorts of webbings covered around and all about it and... Uh, you know, maybe sort of the whole idea, like, she could embellish it by saying that she encountered us along the path, and we'd asked about whether she'd seen the sheriff, and there was much regret and disappointment, and that we would inevitably return, you know, and hope that she, this gnome, could go in our stead, and, you know, along the way, she could be sneaky and plant some jewels in the armory that would set all their equipment on fire the next time someone tried to go in there. And then we could come back and we could make a case about spiders being involved and being the cause and we'd have to hide our spiders. And, or, you know, Duragar, blah, blah, blah. Then we stay in the town square and we kill them all. That's yeah, well, the plan not, ever, not, right? Yeah. <laughs> them all being whatever, whoever resists our occupation. Absolutely, right? of course. And if anyone tries to resist and goes into the armory, suddenly all of their equipment in the armory is on fire. Yeah. Now, now, now. What if they don't? We will have to fight the elementals then, right? Why? Well, that's actually true. We don't really need the gnomish armor. Yeah, the, it, it, it's not like you know that stuff will last forever. And even then, you know, if we really need to use them for some sort of military purpose, we'll give them whatever other equipment's laying about. We mean, we have a small cache of gnomish weaponry, just huh. like a day south of that. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I like the idea of Centigrade. So I, I would assume then that we take actually the narrow road. 
and send her sort of off here. Yeah, we'll, we'll split ways. And with then her. we'll we'll get back, and then probably begin making our way down the big road with our our soldiers. Like right. arriving from the side, we know they have like a, uh, a yeah. broken, unfinished defensive structure. Yeah, I definitely think that uh, traveling along this road here and arriving you can't walk festival. single file a hundred people. Uh, the worst attack ever. I also want her, uh, Ivy out of the party temporarily, if only so that we're not taking her to the Lake of Diamonds and everyone rejoices, WE GOT YOUNG Yes! And she's like, what? I go there and there's it's just all empty, and there's like empty tents, clothes lying on the ground as if they disappeared in the middle of something. <laughs> oh, well that put a problem in our plan. Turns Time out to the, go find the Skisral. It, it turns out the lake was haunted. Hail the white spider! <laughs> now, now another, another one of my concerns, uh, too, is these are Skisroll outcasts, and I don't know exactly who the white spider is, but the white spider has to be a leader of some kind, uh, and I assume a matriarchal figure, given how they are used to that from the, uh, the sort of context clues provided there. In order to befriend the Skisroll as a whole in the future, I don't think we could do that and still have these two on the team. Oh, I mean, we'll see how things of course. work out, right? I mean, for now, they're useful, and Elenary has no illusion that her family is really the only people who are not gonna, who are not expendable as right. such. I mean, this gnome, she is acting nice, but yeah, yeah. Really, at the she, same time, she really, she really couldn't care less in a yeah. way. I, I think if it's spider things ate her. She, you know, that would be a waste of resources, yeah. but. At the, at the same time, I think something that'll happen, and Rilla Nick can sell this on you dead serious. While we're traveling, I assume the two spiders will talk to each other in Skisrol about things, Jonas. I mean, you Your can always back kill in. time. Oh, yeah, he was back. Maybe he's not actually super back. Yeah, well, I was muted, sorry. Yeah. Yes, the uh, the spiders will indeed talk to each other in Skiss Um Generally, they are chatting about the different, uh, you know, the, the sort of thinking or discussing with each other how you all would taste if they would kill you and eat you. In that case, Rillanid um, will be able to remove the mask, dead serious, sell this to Elenary, that, you know, for as much as you might not want to trust the Deep Gnome, at least, at least Ivy is not talking about eating you. Which the skiss roll are. Elenaria, this of course, you know, it doesn't really set her back because, I mean, <laughs> they are monsters. <laughs> and she does not presume to rule by, uh, sort of by being loved by her subjects. You could call them subjects. Uh, you know, she knows that when the day comes, uh, she will dine upon their uh, upon their their nice sort of innards by breaking open the exoskeleton and uh, and peeling the soft meat from their from inside their. You know. She'll have she'll have them at that. She is. She is quite the delusional prince. <laughs> In time, In time she will have them all. All right. We'll bow and scrape and beg for mercy, and they will get none. Okay. Well, of course, so, she won't actually say this to really. She'll just uh, accept it. Right. You know, he might, to, he might, he might be able to read her though. Just, just a thing, you know. That uh, at least Ivy's not talking about eating you. You know, just to throw that oh, out. No. <laughs> if she was, that would be really weird. Yeah. Well, who would she talk to for Me. once? <laughs> How do you think your sister would taste? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, sorry, what? <laughs> It's yeah, a, some, just, you know. I, I've heard some things about your society. Well, I, exactly. I mean, I've never really considered it, but I, I suppose if you would ask me. <laughs> Maybe we should work together to bring it down. <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. I'm a family oriented man. So, since uh, Jonas was gone uh, during that uh, massive planning and strategy session we have there, I guess. Do any of you others have potentially a competitive or better idea to what was just suggested? I think the idea is fine. So, yeah, the plan when we get to festival. What do we what do we say when we arrive with an army? The Durgar thing was was what we're going for. We can go with that. We can also go with the skiss roll angle. If uh, you know she's going to sell the story that uh, the sheriffs. 
Control strike. Maybe the Duragar are riding Skizrol. Oh, you think so? Our, then at least ours could be again the outcasts, right? If the White Queen, whatever, <laughs> maybe some of these gnomes have heard of her. Who are these horrible spiders with you? Oh, these are outcasts from the real enemy, which are the spider riding Duragar. Or, or maybe, you know, there are prisoners. We have enslaved them, and they will take us to their leader, and we will, we will show them. You know, the true error of their ways, or some sort of bullshit. Error of their ways? Are we done? Missionary and sent gnomes to them one at a time. Or we don't take them into faster world, but instead have them, like, spread web around and say, Look, evidence, the uh, Skitrol are coming or something. uh, DDS, Tina, you two got anything? I'm not sure how, if you put it in Skitrol, how it's going to work for us. I mean... You can try it. I would still rather blame the Durgar on this. But yeah, I think the Durgar's are probably a better angle for this. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to tie it into the... I was trying to tie it into the... I think it would be a bad idea to bring the lizard or the spiders uh, with us to the city because it would seem very suspicious. Um, And... Well, well, there we go. We we know the problem. We just leave the spiders outside of Faster Vault with the lizard. Well, I know that when we come back, the lizard is gone. And? We, Spiders are like, I mean, what? No. I mean, I'm sure you can our, get another army, pack we have lizard. A pack lizard I'm sure you can get another pack lizard after we conquer Faster Vault if you really want a pack lizard. <laughs> Okay, fine. This is like the, the problem of the with, with the wolf, sheep, and grain and the river or something? <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, it is. When you invade oh, festivals, you can only move <laughs> one unit at a time. Oh. But you have this spider and this lizard. Well, I think we should leave the spiders it, outside, but it, I really don't it, trust Gu- the gnome. Gulliver is traveling with a hawk, a fox, and a rabbit. <laughs> He's encountering a <laughs> river. <laughs> oh man, I feel like I I'm back in school it now. Other... <clears throat> it, would, uh, it would harness a lot of fear to bring these two spiders in with us. It would, but if you want to... Be, if you wanted to look like we, we didn't kill this sheriff, I don't think it would be. I mean, they know Drow. Drow have spiders, right? That's, that's, that's I'm sure they. That's, that's not, not really a, a new see, phenomenon. And Drow probably have pack lizards too, unless like the sheriff's wife, like that was my special birthday pack lizard. That <laughs> <laughs> That was Scaly, my favorite lizard. Well, then she is a traitor and must be killed. So I can understand Tina's concern there that while, you know, maybe uh, admitting, like, uh, us... Said exact pack lizard. Yeah. Like, like, like admitting us, an entire drow army, with, like, maybe some honey dwarves and a a bribe is one thing. But, like, getting us to bring in, like, two crazy creepy spiders and, you know, a pack lizard they might know... I'd be perfectly like, okay yeah. with, like, they stay in 719. To be honest, yeah, I, I, mean, I I'm, think... I'm fine with that, too. I was just, like, when we have the city... Yeah. I think we should just uh, uh, get rid of the lizard, to be honest. I think we have other enough. pack lizards in our camp, right? Do we? Well, Do people, see, the drow, well, carry well, all the stuff? Well, yeah, the, the pack, soldiers see, carry their own well, see, the, yeah. pack, oh. the pack lizard thing is going to completely derail the point where we get to Hex 422. That's true. We could let the spiders eat it. Yeah. Just, yeah. That, that is their meat. <laughs> For, That's I don't know, this week, this week, this but, month, I don't know exactly like what kind of deal we're going to work out here with these Skisrol. I'm pretty sure if we give them that and say, you know, just Eat away. They'll they'll probably enjoy. Yeah. They'll probably be like, this is not sweet meat. Well, I see. I don't know. This might be something that you have to work out as a character, Manakai. What like the exact terms of the deal might be if they're looking for both gold and food. Well, uh, I mean, really, right now we kind of want to be vague because oh. we don't want to promise them anything we can't really sort of. You know, right. Just have to give them. Eight but this, bracelets. you know, is for showing us uh, us the cash. We can get the cash. Just, just give them eight bracelets. That's it. It will yeah, look like fetching on you, my dear. cowbell. Yeah. I, I, just, <laughs> I, I just didn't know whether you wanted to work out exact terms. Suddenly, since oh, we, she we, doesn't we, trust yeah. that they would keep any sort of deal. 
in some way. Well, I don't think I they think would trust that we keep any sort of deal, but it's, you know, like a working standard, but whatever, not my problem. <laughs> like we used to say, yeah, this is the deal, and all right, all right, I can agree to that. You know that I don't trust you to hold it. Like, yeah, I don't trust you to hold it either. Yeah. So, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. But when we get to four, Hex 422 and we try to pass up that narrow passage, we wouldn't be able to fit. Like the lizard, in, unless unless uh, Tina had like four hundred and eighty-seven castings of grease. <laughs> Coming right up. We pushed no, it we'll, through. Uh, we'll let the spiders have it. The, the you actually work out the number of castings of grease. Uh, no. True. Yeah. So okay. yeah, we, uh, we 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 resolve that, and uh, we get to hex five twenty. We part ways with Ivy, and then we uh, we head out to the Lake of Diamonds. What uh, what you tell Ivy when you part ways of her at uh, five twenty? That's real in it. God damn it. Um, as for that, I think uh, Manakai and I discussed we come to the agreement. We're gonna build off uh, what I had told her uh, initially with the whole idea. Um, heading to the gate of Faster Vault uh, with the with the ring of um, the sheriff outstretched. And, you know, sort of like the key to... I don't know how much you might have picked up or missed, uh, Jonas. I'll go ahead and recap. We essentially... Or I reasoned as a group that uh, that the key is perhaps to something important. The building that was being guarded and blocked, we assume, was also important. I think it has something to do with weapons. And so that key might be the way to get to those weapons, because if anyone's going to have a way to get to the weapons besides the Lord, it seems like the Sheriff would have that way. As a result, uh, we send uh, Ivy there in the hopes that she can spin a, a yarn involving, um, let's see, um, traveling back to Faster Vault. Um, maybe her caravan has gone awry and she barely escaped from her life, perhaps by, you know, dwarves. <coughs> maybe plug that in. And <laughs> while she's uh, trying to escape and make her return, she came across the horribly mutilated and ravaged uh, caravan, uh, apparently being led by the sheriff. And uh, make stick as close to the truth as possible there with the spiders uh, them having apparently like ravaged the pack lizards, maybe drag them away, drag marks, uh, webbing in that instance. And uh, she thought it best and most prudent, particularly for the sheriff's uh, now widowed, to bring the ring back with her, perhaps as like an emblem of like proof. In this instance, hopefully be readmitted back in the faster vault where she can spin her tail to the absolute fool who is governing the city who is now hopefully more isolated with the sheriff gone, and maybe a bit destabilized with the thoughts of dwarves, the Dorgar, and spiders along the the highway there. I love how I'm making gestures with my hands, like, whatever, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. And hopefully during her time there, she can get a better sense of, A, whatever defenses they have, and also sneak into the armory on her own using the key, and plant those jewels, which are traps within the armory. We're reasoning that at some point, uh, hopefully they don't access their weapons too long, uh, too often, they will go into the armory, they'll activate the trap, the fire and the elementals will go up, and hopefully they'll set some equipment on fire. If that happens before we get there, it can be totally whatever they spun it into. Duragar, Skisrol, I don't think they're going to suspect Ivy, because... How the hell could she possibly get into such a well-defended building, right? They, they, they mm -hmm. don't respect her. And if it happens after we get there, then it ends up being, See, you know, we're trying to help you. We need to unite together this. This is why we want to ally with you more. We're going to march up ourselves, go back to the Lake of Diamonds. If there is an army there, if it hasn't already been eaten, we're going to grab it and then go along this path here, uh, traveling along to approach Faster Vault from the east. Where maybe, hopefully, we can either sell diplomacy or a bluff to get us into the town for the night. And then bad things will happen to neutral people. <laughs> okay, okay, then. 
Uh, yes, uh, Ivy seems to be a, a little bit, still a little bit hesitant. Right. Uh, a, you know, and hopefully the entire time, if I need to make a diplomacy or you want me to do more character interaction, but I'm trying to gear Rillanid to being as friendly as he can be towards Ivy in the hopes of identifying with her. Maybe not like, you know, not like a parent or like even like a mentor figure, but someone who realizes her and her talents for what they are and respects her and the entire time you know reminding her like of course you could turn us away being like this is obviously like a trust thing she could even turn against us but mm. why would she do that to the only people who befriended her then she really is alone right yes uh i think uh, i think the promise checks will be okay uh you can make three of those sweet which means i've actually got six of those don't mess this up. <laughs> All right, day one, we'll go ahead and throw down the best of two here, which would be uh, that first result there. How about 19? Is 19 good enough? <laughs> 19 is pretty good. All right. And uh, yeah, I can go through the other days, too, if you'd like. Yes, please. All right, I can do that. Say so, that's the first D20 of that day, and this is the second. I've had better days. And this is the third, first d20, and this is the second. There we go. Maybe, how about 19? <laughs> <laughs> I like to think I had a strong opening argument. So like a, <laughs> a weak middle like most novels have, and then a powerful th <laughs> <laughs> It's like you're just stunned by the finish. It's like, oh! Besides, if you betray us, you will all die in a merciless and brutal death. <laughs> do you do you see so that? So really, uh, surrender is the only option. Do you I see mean, that uh, dome-shaped uh, package the spider is uh, carrying? Yeah. If you don't want to go on magnificent adventures to hone your prowess in the fungal jungle, if you don't want to exact your vengeance upon others, explore the deeps of the Azathir, maybe, you know... Who knows what's out there for you to take and claim for what's yours, and it should be yours because you deserve it to be yours with your incredible potential. Mm. And no one else has yes. realized it. She she seems uh, rather, you know, accepting and taken in by Rillnid's uh, rakish demeanor and his <laughs> <laughs> well manicured hands and V neck and, and all that. And obviously, you know, she is uh, she has to stay somewhere. She might have her own bedroll, but she obviously, you know, she might want some more comfort and privacy. She can stay in the tent. Shell can be like bound and gagged outside to protect. The tent. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, you know, that certainly uh, increases her trust. And you know, she really gets the feeling that she is very surprised, but also. Somewhat proud that this band of vicious, to her mind at least, vicious drow seem to actually respect her enough not to kill her outright. And you know, this seems uh, she's she really wouldn't say that she's you know def definitely loyal to him or, or right. to the group, but she's definitely on their side in this. And it hopes to show a lot of trust with her as well. I mean, obviously, we've invited her into our camp, and especially if I'm going to invite her into the tent. I mean, she could easily kill me in my sleep. I, I'm not so arrogant as to think I could not be defeated. She could kill me, she could escape with some food, and no one would be the wiser, but she would be alone. Indeed, and that is something she seems to fear, actually. Sweet! I'm gonna milk this for the next 150 <laughs> years! <laughs> it's like, you're with me now, bitch! No. Uh... <laughs> Um, and the, the promises of adventure seems to actually excite her. She seems to be, um, you know, rather romanticizing the, the prospect of, you know, fantastic adventures and See, things like that. Who wants and, to be boring in boring old festival? Think of how vast the Azathir is and what wonders await for those who just have the courage and the tenacity and the prowess to seize them. Indeed. Oh man, I am the best rake ever. <laughs> good work. Um, and as we leave her, uh, Eleanor will want to actually actually share some of the items and such between us to be. Um, so first and foremost, I suppose we can give uh, give Zin the the Masterwork Red Axe. Sure. But the, the dwarven initials D A. I'm just. I have a list here of stuff, so I want to remove it from my list when when I give it to guys. To you guys. I'm keeping a list too, just in case. 
Yeah, and I I don't know how we do the loot sharing. I I think we'll just give it to you when something you find that's useful, right? I think so. Uh, master the masterwork longsword sounds like it could just be a good backup weapon for uh, Rain Galar. I can take it the backup, I guess. Yeah. And then you will take the plus one. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the the plus one. That uh, that's definitely superior to my obsidian longsword. I've been waving around. I haven't actually even waved it around. <laughs> no. Um, all right. It's more for show, really. Things. You can write them to your, your stuff. Yep. Uh, there's the money and the spider silk. I assume we just have that in our sort of group yep. stash. Yeah. You keeping track of that? Yeah, I I've got stuff scattered around between my two notepads. We've got uh, sure. we've got quite a sum of gold. The bold the spider silk, whatever. I don't know what they're going to do with that. <laughs> Something yep. or another. We'll exchange it for money when we get to it. Right. Uh, it's eighty gold pieces. The small crate of of six cure light wounds potion stacks with the the what the how many of them do we already have? Five. Uh, I I can look here. We have five medium wounds. Oh, that's cure moderate wounds. Okay. Moderate. Very generous. Yeah, we were given decent equipment. Maybe, maybe she actually doesn't plan on betraying us, and we're just... <laughs> <laughs> we're just like... <laughs> we're the most no, I really wanted you to succeed. I... I would name them as my knights of Rathus, and make them the new governors as I leave for the mainland. In that case, uh, maybe like one cure light wound and one cure moderate wound for each of us. And then maybe the sixth one can go to Ivy in case she gets in trouble for whatever reason. Sure, we can give her a cure light wounds. Yeah, that might All also right. show that we intend to make sure she's safe. I'll also remove the remove the fire gems then from. Yeah. And uh, then I have. I mean, uh, uh, hopefully, you know, she's thinking if this is like some sort of like attempt to lure her in, her into a trap. This is the best trap ever because we're giving her gifts, <laughs> we're letting her go. <laughs> she seems uh, actually a very sort of. You know, taken in by that they're actually giving like her medical items and potions and stuff, and you know she she takes them with you know as much uh, solemn presence as a deep gnome can muster. So everyone, remember to add a uh, moderate wounds potion and a cure light wounds potion to your character sheets. Indeed. As I now have removed them from mine. And uh, the gnome's bane. I assume we're gonna keep some of that each of us. Yeah, and then maybe one the, for um, soldier. The gnome's bane lasts for twenty-four hours after imbibed. It gives a plus eight oh. alchemical bonus to the fortitude save required to resist um, the blind effect. Well, here we go then. How about uh, one to each of us, uh, two to one to each spider, and then you know we'll have a a hundred, even one hundred, and we'll see how many survivors we have in the. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of assume we'll keep them for now, and then when yeah. we get to the gnome place, we'll, we'll sort of yeah, like look, look at that at that time. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. In that case, I actually have to step away from the computer for a few minutes. You all can travel all right. without me, right? I'll actually want Cue to traveling music. a two-minute break as well. All right, then we take a uh, we take a five-minute break, guys. Uh, we resume here uh, in uh, well, basically. Five minutes. Enjoy.